Alright, so we'll go watch a video about military bases in Ghana. US military bases being set up in Ghana. You're going to see my reaction, you're going to watch my reaction, and then afterwards, you're going to see my commentary. It is a culmination of simmering anti establishment feelings occasioned by reports on the setting up of an American military base, a plan that protesters feel infringes on the independence of Ghana. That the independence of Ghana is not for any sin. Oh, yes. Not for yeah, I can tell them that the good people of this country, overwhelming majority of people of this country, flatly and totally reject this attempt to send us back into colonialism. We will never be colonized again. We will never. Once Kwame Nkrumah led us to independence and proclaimed Ghana and uh, Ghanaians a free and independent nation, never shall we accept any military basis here to put us in a second colonialism. From now. All right. The point. We more uh, touch on right this is ah uh, it's it, it's almost one hundred percent of the time the people um, the citizens of the countries country never agree with the, the, the foolishness of the politician they model. And then people are supposed to be elected officials. So yes yes it's a democracy you no know, it not have no, no inherent benefit when it comes to the, the politicians, the people who are supposed to are lead, doing or carrying out the will of the people. It seems like them always go against what the people want. This case and point, this. The people them don't want it, but the politicians them go through with it. Anyway, what is the repercussion? What are the repercussions for politicians doing things like this where people don't approve of? Especially something where it seems so treasonous as having an imperialist power setting up, setting up a military base in Ghana. Ghana where not just not too long, not even a century yet. Them just get independence. So you're going to spit in at the face of all of the people that will fight for independence. You're going to spit in at them face. You're going to spit on them grave. Right? And allow something like this to happen just decades after. Like this is that people still, people still alive. People are still alive today that experience independence in Ghana that were still under British colonialism. So, so what the hell? But they may not understand how them politicians are, 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 are go through with something like this. The people them need to hold them accountable. They not to be able to sleep at night time. Them, them need to chase them out of the country too. Since you know, since you know, um, be a, um, want American military base, just give them a uniform and send them off, ship them off, make them, make them go in the United States and fight in the United States military since them 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 not a loyalty to Ghana that that are my that are my opinion so far so me could anyway me could continue on until the day that President Akufado realized that our independence is not for sale. We shall be on the streets until we achieve that dream. Let me preempt that if by the close of the week they do not take any action, next week we shall be embarking on another yes. A deal approved by the Ghanaian Parliament last week allows the U.S. to invest $20 million, which will go into Ghana's military spending. In return, the U.S. will be allowed to set up military bases in the country and import military wear duty-free on a 20-year lease. The Americans will also have access to one of the airports that Ooh. meets their standards and... So this is what they must sell out for $20 million. That's all they must sell out for $20 million. That is what they must sell out for. Big... Big Ghana, the Gold Coast, the Gold Coast, the Gold Coast, Ghana, a sellout, the politician must sell out the country for 20 
million dollars that is shameful that is shameful this supposed to be the motherland that is shameful to one of the airports that meets their standards and also Ghana's radio spectrum people put partisan interest first and not national interest they have rectified similar deals in the past they didn't see anything wrong with it it is another ten for another government to do the same. Now they are fighting. I think moving forward, we all have to put national interest first. If you put national interest first, some of the terms and conditions that is contained in this document would have been seriously contested to the extent that the count, the, what will come, the benefit that will come to account would have been clearly spelled out, just as the US, uh, the, the, their counterpart uh, nation that they were dealing with. So I think once we, we put partisan interest ahead, of national interest we're going to have these things keep happening all the time and i think it's not good for our democracy and it's not good for the welfare of the people of this country however the u.s embassy in accra has denied the reports the united states and france are boosting their military presence in west africa as they counter terror threats terror in the sahel yeah. region noel makugu cgtn all right so what you just saw is people in ghana rejecting the push towards recolonization of of West Africa. So well, this is where it starts. It starts in military bases. Remember slavery, remember colonialism it started where raids on the coast. And it started up with setting up these forts on the coast of Africa that turned to trading posts, that turned to slave houses, slave ports. And this is what they are doing again. But people should look at this in a, in a global sense. What has been happening? across the world where imperialism is concerned there has been this propping up propping up of, of terrorism of terrorists so they use these these militia groups generally employed by the CIA they use it to strike fear into people in these countries and they use it to destabilize these countries. And what is the end goal? The end goal, end goal is colonizing these countries. They did it with Libya. Libya is now a colony of the United States. They're trying to do it in Syria. They've done it in Iraq and Afghanistan and other places. So just beware of these issues that are happening. And I am, I am happy to see that the people of Ghana are in the streets and they are saying this deal is not in my name. So they are having none of it. And I hope they get to kick them out and don't, do not allow these people to, 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 to conquer your country. Because, I mean, what purpose is a U.S. military base in Ghana other than to strengthen U.S. power, military power over West Africa. And it, disappoint, it is disappointing to, to know that you actually have elected officials in these countries. And in this case, Ghana, that, that would really sign over the independence of Ghana to the U.S. military. And there, there are Americans who aren't understanding that these things are happening. That their, their, their nation is colonizing, recolonizing the world. And they're using the, the pretext of, of terrorism to do it. Say so they're terrorists here, they're terrorists, they're fighting against this. Here. No, you're not fighting against anything. You are trying to gain access to people's resources. Remember this. 
if you live in Ghana, if you live in West Africa, if you live anywhere in Africa, remember this. You possess the wealth. What they possess is money that they can print at will. So be careful of signing over your wealth and your independence for some fabricated currency. Please beware of it. We cannot afford to, for Africa to be recolonized. It is already trying to get over neocolonialism. Don't allow it to be physically colonized once again. Because make no mistake, if you allow these policies to go through, where you give people so much access to your land, it's a done deal from there. It's a done deal from there. And this is the first time in, 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 so, in, in like a decade or more. I've always said that I am traveling to Ghana. I have to go to Ghana. Because majority of Jamaicans descended from that region. And I know I have one, my, my great, great, great grandmother actually migrated from a region in Ghana to Jamaica. So there, there are some ties in Ghana personally for me. And if things like this happen where I see the country just selling out, like what, what reason do I have to go there? Because it's just going to be more of the same. Might as well I stay in Babylon and go home to experience the same friggin' thing. So it, it is very disappointing to see, see this taking place and I hope it doesn't go through. I hope the people get their way on this issue and they can kick out whoever in the government that is signing away Ghana's independence to the US military. And you're just hoping for the better. Just, just be aware, people. Just be aware of the things that are happening. Be aware.